Hello friends, this is just a brief video talking about the Mushroom Man, which was just a fun personal project. Without a doubt my biggest influence on my pixel art comes from the British Amiga and demo scene. Even though I never even owned an Amiga, the aesthetics and style of its games, and that period of gaming in general, is something that will be forever ingrained in my pixels going forward. This is just a demo of how the image came together. I love a bit of eerie fantasy whimsy in my works. Something very much in the spirit of two books which I always turn to. Brian Froud and Adam Lee's Fairies and The Tasks of Tantalon, a large beautifully painted puzzle book set in the world of the fighting fantasy game books. My other big passion, if anyone remembers or plays those. I compulsively have more than one copy of each of those mentioned volumes because you never know. The butterfly was a seven frame sprite. Here is a little insider secret. I then used a script in a sprite created by the wonderfully talented Gasparokin, I hope I pronounced that correctly, who is an absolute pixel legend. I used that to draw its flight path. I will drop a link to the script in the comments Please show your love and support for his wonderful endeavours. The script allowed me to draw the flight path directly onto the image while playing through the sprite's existing animations. Initially I was not planning for it to be a looping animation, but having a seamless loop just looks nice to me when the image allows for it. Of course, not everything needs to be a seamless loop. But when you have something that could be potentially always running in the background, it would be far less jarring to have it looping without any jumps or breaks. The combination of sound and pixels is another funny thing that I do enjoy. Discovering audio soundtracks from old games and memories of playing my own games on the PC using Roland capable soundboards are a major part of creating atmosphere for me. I remember hooking up a cassette player to the PC and recording the music from Mystic Towers before we had the luxury of just looking up and downloading old game soundtracks from other people who take the time to preserve them. I really do love pixels, because while being a purely digital form of art, they can cross a lot of barriers and engage the imagination with just a slight change of perfect little coloured squares, and that opens up a lot of timeless possibilities. Thanks for watching this little clip. Please like and share to help the channel grow and subscribe for more pixel related videos in the future. Also feel free to check out my Ko-fi to support the channel and myself. Until next time.